Day for Jennifer and James Crumbly, the first parents convicted in a mass school shooting will learn their fate after being found guilty for manslaughter. Prosecutors argued the Crumblies did nothing to secure the gun their son used in the deadly 2021 attack at a Michigan school and also ignored signs of his declining mental health. ABC's Alexis Christophorus has the story. Jennifer and James Crumbly, the first parents in the U.S. found criminally responsible for a school shooting committed by their child, both set to be sentenced. Earlier this year, two separate juries in back-to-back -back trials found Jennifer and James Crumbly each guilty of four counts of involuntary manslaughter in connection with the deaths of four students at Oxford High School in Michigan in 2021. Prosecutors asked for 10 to 15 years in prison, while state sentencing guidelines recommended a maximum of about seven years. James Crumbly is asking for time served. Jennifer Crumbly wants to serve her sentence on house arrest at her lawyer's guest house. Before the sentencing, the Crumblies had to face the families of the four victims. While you were running away from your son and your responsibilities, I was forced to do the worst possible thing a parent could do. I was forced to say goodbye to my medicine. During the trials, prosecutors argued the Crumbleys did nothing to secure the gun their son Ethan Crumbly used in the killings and ignored signs of his declining mental health. On the day of the shooting, counselors called the parents to the high school to discuss concerns over Ethan's disturbing drawings. Prosecutors say the Crumbleys did not tell school officials that Ethan had access to a gun and didn't take him out of school. Later that day, Ethan opened fire killing four students. Jennifer Crumbly took the stand in her own defense. I've asked myself if I would have done anything differently and I wouldn't have. In court documents, she now says that is true without the benefit of hindsight that I have now. With the information I have now, of course, my answer would be hugely different. Ethan Crumbly pleaded guilty and is serving life in prison. Now many legal observers say this case could encourage prosecutors to bring charges against parents when their child commits a crime. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.